outbreak of 1906. Scientists and FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, are warning of a pending doom for the Pacific Northwest. An earthquake along a little-known fault line that would kill thousands and affect millions. The Cascadia subduction zone stretches about 700 miles from Cape Mendocino, California to Vancouver, Canada. Big cities expected to be affected include Seattle and Portland. Some scientists believe the earthquake, when it goes off, will reach between 8.7 and 9.2 on the Richter scale and cause a tsunami. So will this new revelation become a reality? Is it only a matter of time? I was joined earlier by John Vidal, a seismologist at the University of Washington. I first asked him why we're just now hearing about this little-known fault line in the Northwest that appears to be so much worse than the San Andreas, the commonly known fault line in California. Well, we hear the most about the San Andreas because it has about three-quarters of the risk that we estimate for the West Coast. Um, we've known about the Cascadia subduction zone for quite a while. It's a serious risk. A big earthquake in the Pacific Northwest could be the worst disaster the country has faced uh, historically. Um, but it only has a, a small chance each year, about one in 300 chance. Uh, we're hearing about it this week because some reports have uh, somewhat overestimated the impact of the event. Uh, the event would be very serious, you know, $100 billion in damage is one estimate, and kill perhaps thousands of people. But the reports we're hearing this week are wiping out the entire coast in large parts of the city of Seattle and Portland, killing tens of thousands of people. And these are bigger than the estimates most people think. So in, in a sense, this week we're worrying about some kind of overestimates of what the impact of this earthquake might be. So FEMA is holding an event next summer called Cascadia Rising to practice preparation for an incident along this fault line. So I want to pull up some of the estimations that you were just referring to. We got these directly from FEMA today. Estimations they're using to plan for a natural disaster in the Pacific Northwest. They project a disaster along this fault line could result in 13,000 people dying, 27,000 people being injured, 1 million people being displaced and needing shelter, and an additional 2.5 million people needing food and water. So these numbers, they really are staggering, but you're saying they're not quite realistic. Yeah, they're partly for the exercise to make sure we take care of all the things we need to watch out for. Um, so it, it's a bit of a worst case. Uh, you know, the numbers that are kind of objective and for the use of planning um, for preparing are more in the order of 1,000 people killed, 2,000 people killed, uh, and $100 billion of damage, but not leveling the cities of Portland and Seattle. And some of the, the reports have um, even more exaggerated the uh, impact than the, the FEMA scenario that's for the exercise next year. That's right. Well, it's good to prepare. If something like this were to happen, what are the areas that would be affected? Well, the fault does run all the way from uh, Northern California up into Canada, so it would affect a wide zone. And it would affect, you know, the cities of Seattle and Portland seriously, but it would only affect, you know, a, a few of the buildings, the older buildings, perhaps some of the bigger buildings, uh, some of the bridges. It by no means would affect every structure in the city. And mostly people would notice that in all likelihood, you know, the power might go out, it might be hard to communicate. It might be hard to get around, but it would not reduce the uh, streets to rubble like one saw in that San Andreas movie uh, a few weeks ago, for example. So they're talking about a tsunami being a possibility. When we think tsunami, we think of what happened in Japan, Fukushima. That was a terrible tragedy. Is a tsunami likely, and how far inland would it affect people in the Northwest? Yeah, in a magnitude 9 earthquake, a tsunami is inevitable. Um, and the height of the tsunami is anywhere between you know, 5 meters and 20 meters. The tsunami in Japan was the biggest we've ever seen, about 30 meters, but that only hits in rare cases, and it was quite a surprise when it did in Japan. Um, but yeah, the entire coastline is vulnerable to tsunami, but the tsunami would not reach into Seattle and Portland. Those cities are not on the ocean. Okay, great. Well, that was John Vidal, a seismologist at the University of Washington. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome.